y'all ready for this? This week on Hamped Up, we're going to take a look at the Northampton fencing team. Currently, the team is enrolled as a school club that has been trying to become a part of the NHS athletic program for some time now. We spoke to the coach of the team and a few captains to see how this process has been and why they think becoming a part of the NHS sports will benefit some. We also heard from athletic director David Pro to find out some of the difficulties of this process and if he thinks it will be possible. Um, the team has been trying to become an official team uh, part of NHS sports for about five years now. When the team was orin originally founded, it was part of NHS sports in the 90s. We'll have better outreach, so we'll be able to recruit people easier because we'll be an official team and we'll be on official listings. We'll have more funding so we can get better equipment, and we'll have more representation and resources so we're able to get to more tournaments and competitions. We'll also be able to cover a lot of funding that currently is being covered personally by our coaches which is not fair to them. Yeah we don't get like any school funding really. And we'll also be able to go to more tournaments uh, like during the school day which currently we can't because we're not technically a team. All our tournaments have to be on the like weekends because we can't leave school early and everything's out east near Boston, so it's a long drive. You know, currently the fencing club is a club here and not a sport at, at NHS. Uh, it's, that is the way it's been since I started here. You know, it's not an MIA sponsored sport, which many, uh, almost all um, of our sports are. Any club that is in existence that would like to become a sport would have to go through a process to be added into the sport offerings at the school. Some of the things that would have to take place would be budget increases to account for additional coaches, um, transportation, supplies that currently are not included in my budget. As of right now, with the funding that we have for our current sport offerings, things are tight, especially with the rising cost of officials and transportation and things like that. Transportation issues with the availability of our school bus transportation and the need to go to charter for more trips, increasing costs. So all those things kind of have to be looked at if you're going to add sport offerings and know that the district would be able to support those added sports. Thanks for watching Hamped Up and see you next week.